Hey guys, so if you know me, you know I like to do a lot of like sewing and sewing videos on this channel. But today I wanted to try something a little bit different and instead of making clothes for myself, I wanted to make clothes for my pet frog. So about a year ago now, I actually bought my boyfriend a pet frog for his birthday. He's super cute, he's a dumpy frog, and my boyfriend decided to name him Dunky. So today I thought it would be really fun to create some hats for Dunky. So if you love frogs like me and maybe you follow some frog accounts on Instagram or on the frog TikToks, you may notice that people love to accessorize their frogs and the best way to do that is with hats because you know putting like a shirt on the frog probably isn't the best idea but hats are perfect they're easy you just like put them on top and I mean what's cuter than a frog wearing a hat and you know I didn't want Dunky to feel left out so today I'm going to be making some hats for my frog. It sounds so silly when I say that out loud. So before we get started I think we need to take a few measurements. Hey Dunko. Come here, little guy. Okay, guys, so this is Dunky. This is the frog. Basically, I just wanted to take some measurements on him or I make a hat for him because, you know, I want it to fit correctly, so. Oh, careful, guy. So his head's probably about an inch. Like, me, a little less than an inch, so. That's good to work with, good to know, because we want it to sit, like, comfortably on his head. Okay, so now that we have the measurements, we can actually start making the hat. Thanks for your, um, contribution. <laughs> All right, so now that we have Dunky's measurements, we can actually start making the hats. I have a few ideas in my head, but first I want to get a bit of inspiration just to figure out exactly what I wanted to make for him. Okay, so I'm just looking on my favorite frog account right now. It's called Dumpy Thick. The girl that owns this account has like nine different frogs, so definitely recommend if you're looking for frog content. But she always loves to like accessorize them, like put hats on them, like decorate their enclosures and stuff which is really fun a common one i see a lot is the classic cowboy hat so i think we're definitely gonna have to make a cowboy hat that's kind of essential this straw hat is super adorable i don't think i have the materials to make that but super cute bunny ears really cute but that's more like holiday themed i'm trying to go a little more like classic everyday wear you know i love these like pointy hats i guess it's supposed to be more of like a party hat but it kind of reminds me of like a wizard hat so i think that would be really fun to make okay so i think those are probably enough <laughs> so let's get started okay so in this bag is where i keep all of my like scrap scrap fabrics fabric that's like so small that i probably couldn't make anything out of it but luckily because donkey's head so small this will probably be perfect so i'm basically just gonna sort through and see what fabrics would work for these projects you know it would be really cute too if i like made a mini version of like one of my bucket hats that i'm selling i think that'd be really funny it might be really hard to work with because i don't know how doing patchwork that small would go but that is an option so like for example here is a scrap sample of that Tommy Hilfiger fabric that you just saw in that hat, so that could work for that. I'm thinking this corduroy fabric would work really well for the cowboy hat. This scrap of denim could work probably pretty well for the wizard hat. I wanted to incorporate some yellow too into some of these, so I just pulled this out of my other scrap fabrics. It's a little bit of a bigger piece, but this will work well for that. Okay, so now that I have my fabrics picked out, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting out general shapes. I'm not gonna be too precise with patterns or anything just because I feel like the functionality of the hat is not as important. I think just getting like general right correct shapes will be good enough. I decided to start with the wizard hat. So I started by cutting out a little piece of the denim and then kind of like rolling it into that cone shape. And then I just cut it to the size I wanted so it wasn't like too big for his head. And then next I cut out a big yellow square. This is what we're gonna use for our stars. I started to draw on like a general star shape and then just began to cut it out. This was really, really hard because the stars were so, so tiny. So it definitely took a while, was not the easiest, but this is my first little star, probably the best one I would make that day. So then I went ahead and cut out the rest of them. I know 
they are pretty janky not the best looking stars that i've ever seen but like i said it was really hard to work with but i thought it looked good enough so then i moved on to the cowboy hat and just kind of cut out a general circle shape once i had the circle shape i then measured it just to make sure you know it wouldn't be too big then i went ahead and just cut out another matching circle shape so that we can have like an inside and outside part of the hat so once i had my two circles i decided to create a little circle for the very top of the hat to fit right on top there now i just had to cut out a hole in the base of the hat like the brim so i just traced that little circle that i just cut out and then i had a hole so at that point i had my two brim pieces my little top part i just need to kind of the headband part that wraps around so i just took like a rectangular kind of shape and cut it to size made sure it was long enough and then i basically had all of my pieces for my hat now for this next patchwork hat, it's basically the exact same structure as the cowboy hat, so I kind of just repeated the exact same process until I had basically all the same pieces as the cowboy hat. Of course, I just made sure to use the Tommy Hilfiger fabric for the headband piece. I decided that that would kind of be good enough for the patchwork because I wasn't about to cut out like four separate pieces for this, it would just have been too, way too complicated. And then I had all my pieces. Okay guys, so I've got all of my little pieces right here and it was hard enough to cut them out So it's gonna be really interesting to sew things so tiny. So let's see how it goes I think I'm gonna start off with the wizard hat first just cuz I think it's gonna be the easiest I don't know first things first I'm gonna sew these little stars onto the fabric and then after that I'm gonna fold the fabric so it's in like the cone shape You know, I'm not striving for perfection here. I feel like you kind of almost want it to look homemade. Almost like the frog made it itself, you know? Okay, so this is how the first star turned out. Not perfect, but I think you'll get the idea once like, you know, it all comes together. All right, so I just finished sewing all the stars on. I do realize, yes, they look quite janky. Cutting them out was hard enough, sewing them on was pretty hard too, so. You know, not the best, but I think it'll come together. So now basically what I'm gonna do is just fold it into that cone shape while it's inside out, kind of like that, and then just sew along the line there. So I just sewed it down and now I'm just gonna cut off the excess and we can flip it inside out and see how it looks. Oh my god, this is so much harder to flip inside out than I thought. And there you have it. This is the little wizard hat. Oh my god. See, I feel like it all kind of came together. Like, you get the general idea with like the colors and the shape and everything. So that is gonna look so adorable on him. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on my frog. So let's move on to the next one. I've got my two pieces here. We are going to put them together and then flip them inside out. So good sides together. And I'm just gonna sew along the outer edge. This will be pretty tricky, I think. Here's my little donut. Let's flip it inside out. Oh my god, this is- I should have given myself more seam allowance. This is so small. This is so much harder than making like normal sized things. So here is the base of the hat. It's, it's definitely wonky, definitely, but let's pull it all together. I'm really struggling to figure out how the heck I'm gonna sew these pieces together just because they're so small, like they really get in the way of themselves. Okay, I think I'm gonna sew this like long piece on next. <laughs> I got the top on. I don't even know how I did that, to be honest. So now all that's left is to put this top part on. I genuinely don't even know how I'm gonna pull this off. Okay guys, so this one's done. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. It's just so difficult to sew such tiny pieces together, but this is what it's looking like. I'm just hoping it looks a lot cuter on him 
rather than my finger so hopefully this next one goes a little bit better so with this next hat it is essentially like putting it together is essentially going to be the same as the last one so i'm gonna try a little harder on this one and hopefully it turns out a little bit better i don't know we're gonna see like for this one i think i'm gonna actually re cut the pieces to make them a little bit bigger because these are just way too small to work with. Okay, so I just recut the pieces so that they're a little bit bigger, so hopefully this will make things a little bit easier and hopefully this one turns out a lot better than the last one. Okay guys, I'm happy to report that this is already going so much better than the last one. Way easier to work with now that it's just a tiny bit bigger, but oh my goodness. Look how cute the top is already. Oh my god, it's literally like a mini version of my bucket hat. So now I'm just going to continue with the rest of it. All right, we're almost done. I just sewed these two pieces together. So I'm just going to quickly cut out a little hole here so that I can flip it inside out and that will be the brim of the hat. Okay, so now we have a little donut here. I'm just gonna flip it. Okay, so I've got my little donut flipped inside out. So all we have to do is attach them together. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna sew this last part by hand because I'm gonna be really sad if I mess it up on the sewing machine. I think it's just gonna be a lot easier if I sew it by hand. Okay guys, so I just finished it and this is what it looks like. This one definitely turned out a lot better than the last one. It's like basically the mini version of my big bucket hat. So now that we're done, there's only one thing left to do. Time to model these hats. Okay, so I've got the hats here. So we got the wizard one. This one, it did not turn out as good as I wanted it, but you get the idea. I was going for like a cowboy kind of thing. And then this is like a mini version of the, the hat that I made. I know it's, the proportions are probably gonna be a little bit off, but let's see. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so cute. He's so chill about it. Okay, this one is a little bit big. I do realize, but I had to make it big to be able to do it properly. <laughs> it's more of a backpack. But, uh... <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, okay, let's take him out. Hello, Dunky, are you ready for your fashion show? Okay, here's the first one. Is it on him good? Isn't he cute? <laughs> he looks like a little farmer or something. Howdy. Yeehaw. I think this one's my favorite one. No stay. I don't know how all the frog accounts get such good pictures of their frogs wearing hats. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Okay, this is the last one. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. So guys, that is the video. Honestly, making those hats was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. When everything's so small, it's just like so difficult to work with, but it was definitely worth it to see how cute they looked on Dunky. So guys, let me know which one was your favorite. I definitely know which one was my least favorite, that's for sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.